Start by wrapping your thread on near the eye of the hook and then securing your thread down. Then cut off the excess thread. Then wrap your thread back to the bend of the hook. Once it's back there, we're going to grab a piece of dry fly grizzly hackle, bear the stem, and then secure it at the end of the hook. Secure it down and then wrap your thread all the way over to just shy of the eye of the hook. Then we want to wrap our grizzly hackle to just shy of the eye of the hook. Be sure to put plenty of it on there. Once you've got it up there, secure it down and then cut off the excess. Now we're going to give our grizzly hackle a flat top. This will create a nice bed for our foam body. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of zap gap on the bottom of the foam body and then flip it around and secure it to the top of the hook. This will help hold the foam in place so that it doesn't wrap around the hook when you're fishing it. Just a few seconds should do. Once it's glued in place, begin to secure your foam down. Your body should be sitting on the hook so that when you start to secure it down, you can distinguish a body from the head of your beetle. We really want a separation between the head and the body, so we're going to continue to wrap around the foam so that we can clearly see that there's a head there and a body there. Now we're going to tie in a variegated leg. You take one strand and then cut it in half so that we have equal sized legs on either side. The leg will have a natural bend to it. The bend you want to be facing toward the fly. This way when you tie in the legs, they'll have more of a spidery look. Give the legs about two wraps, nothing too tight. That way we can still maneuver the legs around if we need to. Now secure the second legs in place on the other side of the body. Nice and easy, just a couple wraps. That way we can maneuver the legs if we need to. Once the legs are in place, secure them down nice and tight. Now we're going to want to do a post, that way we can see the fly in the river. Take your pair of post material and double it over a couple times. Secure it to the top of your spider. And now we're going to make a post for our spider. Be sure to secure the post with about three or four wraps around. That way we get a nice steady post that we can see clearly when we're fishing this dry fly. Once the post is complete, secure your line around the fly and then we're going to want a whip finish. With all the fibers we have in place for this particular fly, whip finishing can be kind of a challenge. Just take your time, you'll get it. Just to let you know that this particular bug body comes in a cream color, just in case you want to make a white spider. Once we're finished whip finishing, clip off the excess thread. Pull up your parachute a little bit, fluff it up, and then we want to clip that about a half an inch. One more quick adjustment for the legs. And we have ourselves a black foamed spider.